everybody, it's Reefs with Rob, and today we're going to review Fleece Reefs Coral Food. Um, I love this stuff, and we're going to check it out. Okay guys, check this out. First thing that I want to point out to you is right there. Let's see if we can get it to zoom. This pouch is made with 100% certified biodegradable materials. That's right, guys. This coral food, not only do you feed your corals, but you have no waste, no pollutants, this will all biodegrade and go back into the environment naturally. So, Rob approves. Good stuff. I will also say that uh, Felix himself, the owner of this company, has given me a whole bunch of samples to give out with my sales. So, whenever you buy some Reefs with Rob corals, get maybe a free sample of Felix Reefs coral food as well. Okay, guys. Before I crack this open and feed some corals... I do need to call attention to all the background noise. That is all of the pumps and filtration from my fish room, which is right behind that corner. Um, I will feature that in a new video, but for right now, it's just a secret. Okay, I'm also filming just by myself with one hand, so awkward cuts and stuff, I'm sorry. Um, pop this thing open. I've already used a bunch. I use this stuff all the time. Um, Gonna take a little spoon. Let's see if I can do this with one hand and safely without spilling everything everywhere. Nope. Okay, still one handed. We're gonna. Specimen cup that I used to ship my corals. That's just. Oh, fuck. As I said, one handed, it's difficult. Gotta try to seal this. Yeah, look at that. I used to play the bass so I can. I can use my fingers pretty well. Anyway, shake it up. It's the best way to mix it all up. Bam. Perfect coral food, ready to feed all your fish. Okay, I just sat here for two minutes for this exact purpose. Um, part of this review is to show what I like about this food. And as I said, I've been here two minutes, and look how much has just already settled straight to the bottom. Um, this coral food doesn't float in the water, it goes straight down. So when you target feed your coral, the food stays where you put it. And that's one of the things I love about this food so much. Anyway, back in business. Now let's feed some corals. Okay, so to feed your corals, um, we have our coral mixture and wow, look it. It's been 30 seconds. I just left for half a second to grab this pipette, but it already settled. So we're gonna close that and we're gonna shake it up again, but you need a pipette. You gotta go over to your aquarium. This is my 55. There's really nothing in there besides a few fish and some euphilia and this very, very nice lobophilia that I got from Kush Corals. Um, anyway, let's remove that lid. Let's get to business. Okay, so you drop down to your plumbing. Shout out to all my homies. Um, and you wanna go to your return pump and pause that and you also want to go over here and unplug or turn off any other power heads you just want the water up top to be completely stagnant all right guys there are no magic tricks here we just have our food get a good old squirt from the pipette move it into the tank and we'll start with this very happy tonga torch And you just lightly dust him. You notice he'll start to close up a bit. But also notice how well that food just stays on him. Like he has a nice wet white coating of Felice Reef's coral food. And now we cue the feeding montage.
in conclusion, it kind of smells good. Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a little over 24 hours, um, after that last clip, I may or may not have vomited, and I just could not get the taste out of my mouth, and I needed to go to sleep, but in my defense, this stuff does smell like a soft Nutella, it's got this very nutty, chocolatey smell, which is kind of strange, and I mean, get it and prove me wrong, but that's what I think it smells like. Um, besides that, it's not edible. Besides the taste, it's not really made for humans, so I can't really judge it on that. Um, it sinks amazing, that is the one thing that I really love about it, is that, as you saw within 30 seconds, 50%, 80% of the food is where you want it to be at the bottom, in that coral's mouth and their tentacles being pushed by their slime into the mouth and it sinks so when you put it there it's gonna stay there it's not gonna get picked up and blown away and that's what I love about it okay so we know it works as a coral food as in it will get to the coral smells correctly um I've taken a long look at the nutrition content of this thing and it's great um we have sorry I'm gonna read it because I don't memorize it but we got 61% protein 9% fiber 8% fat 8% ash, which we don't really care about, and 5% moisture, which also we don't care about, but also that helps it sink more, which is really good, because you don't need to get that more moisture from the water into it, so that does help. But the 61% protein and the 9% fiber and then 8% fat, that is really what we want from coral food. It's not, of course, natural coral diet is a great thing, but if we can get this same thing from bugs and algae like we are doing with this Felice Coral food, it's more sustainable and in my opinion it does get the same results. I've been using this for over three months now. Um, granted the first month was his first like beta test coral food, but it's always had decent results the entire way through. I could definitely compare this food to Refroids, um, pretty much any other powdered food. The one thing we look for in a powdered food that this does not have, which, to be honest, I don't think any powdered food really has. I think maybe Benepets might have it, but I haven't really looked at the science behind that. I don't know how true it is. But a coral food that doesn't release nitrates or phosphates in excess. And, I mean, this food is great as long as you don't feed it every day and, like, two teaspoons a day or two teaspoons, two tablespoons a day you'll be fine and you won't overdose and spike those elements, especially if you're keeping up on your skimming and your carbon and your GFO and your biomedia and everything else. I can definitely recommend this product 100%. This is, as I said, up with Refroids. This is the next coral food. Okay, the next coral food is a big claim. I know that, that, that was way out of line. But also the thing is, I can relate this to any other larger coral food in the market but not only that in my biggest opinion where the food comes from itself bugs algae they're farmed their sustainable natural resources but also the packaging itself is biodegradable and natural and this whole entire thing is not going to have any issue on the environment at all and as someone who really cares about the environment and trying to save our reefs and everything else I do approve of this. Before I finish this product review, I will say that this product is going to be available in select local fish stores around Chicago and in the Illinois area, as well as online on his own website. There are pre-orders already up. I believe this product is going for $24.99, which is a great price for two ounces plus of coral food. This is exactly two ounces of coral food. So two ounces, $24.99, it's a great price no waste definitely check it out that all being said i hope you like this review i hope you check out this product um definitely if you enjoy this video please hit the like and subscribe button hit the bell icon i do have more content coming just bear with me it takes some time 
But um, yeah, go Felicity's Coral Food. Check it out. It's some good stuff. And keep in touch. We have more content coming. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Reese the Frob out.